All right, first off, if uh, this video helps you out, I need you to do two things for me. Hit the like button for me and hit the subscribe button for me. All right, so what we have here is a uh, 1964 to 1973 Johnson or Evan Rude nine and a half horsepower carburetor. And uh, we're gonna be installing this carburetor rebuild kit with a float. The part number for this kit is gonna be in the description, the video description below. So uh, look in that for a link to this part number kit for your motor. First thing we're gonna do is there are four flathead screws here um, that remove the top half from the bottom half. So we're gonna take that apart. Of the four screws, there's two long ones and two short ones. Just remember where the they both came from out of the casing so that you can put them back in the right spot. Once you get the screws out, you can uh, break the seal apart and you'll probably see this is pretty much a chunk of metal. It doesn't really have any mechanical parts other than this, this right here that'll get replaced. But um, it's pretty simple and you can set it aside for now. Uh, you'll want to remove the gasket. This one seems to come off pretty easily. Yours may require a little more work. But try to remove it in such a manner that you know you don't have to do a lot of scraping to get the excess gasket off once it comes off. So there's the gasket, put it aside. This is the float. You can see here it looks pretty old. Um, you'll want to remove it by sliding this small piece out and then this should come out. You can put it aside and the this little needle should come out of this orifice here. You can set it aside. Should be able to have a flathead screwdriver and just remove this. So you'll want to take that off, set it aside, and there should be a small rubber gasket that sits right there, and you'll want to remove it. Next, what I like to do is remove the idle speed thing. And one thing you want to look on this is you don't, you want this this needle cone tip to have a smooth consistent conical shape you don't want there to be any ridges this one has a small one but if it's just small you can kind of take some emery cloth and and file it down very carefully you don't want to change the shape of that cone because that's the, the operation of the carburetor is pretty sensitive to that shape so just something to keep in mind if you see this is gouged significantly you may want to uh, look online for a replacement one um, in my experience they're not cheap they're probably like 30 bucks for one of these but you can typically find them on eBay and I'll put that in the description that this part number in the description below Next thing you want to remove is, is this. It just screws out. And there's a gasket down in there. You can take a pick set, something like this, and remove that gasket. It's probably a pretty handy set of tools see the gasket there so
just inspect that cavity and then the next thing we want to do is remove this um, kind of tin cap and once we remove this this silver part here um, it's going to open up an area that we can clean and blow out and, and make sure there's no debris in there. Alright, so what I had to do for this one is I had to very carefully take a drill. It was in there really good. And drill a hole through there. Once I got the hole, you don't want to drill so hard that you punch through. So be very careful when you do this. Once you got the hole in there, you can take a pick, stick it in there, and and pop it out all right so I had to do the same thing for the cap that was over this hole you just want to be very careful go slow whenever you're drilling those out if they're in there good if you can get them out by another way not using a drill I would recommend that but um, yeah just be very careful if you do it the way I had to do it I tried beating on it for a little while and um, it just wouldn't come out so I had to drill a little hole in there to get some leverage to pry it out. So once you get those out, you've taken this apart, you've got the gasket out, you've got the bottom off, you've got all the gaskets out of it. Um, this is ready to be blown out with the air, air compressor, and especially these orifices in here. Um, you know where you've your drill bit was creating some debris you just want to make sure this is really clean especially if you had to use a drill to get to get these uh, cover plates off so yeah so this top parts pretty much done just don't forget to there is this screw on the bottom part go ahead and take it off just I guess we're pretty much complete it has a little gasket and the screw set it aside and what I like to do next once it's all disassembled like I said I like to go take it over to an air compressor blow it all out get it good and clean and then I like to soak all of this in acetone for a few days um, on other carburetors they don't have this plastic piece so on this one you may want to just I think it just pops off Acetone may react with this plastic. I'm not sure but why chance it since it just pops off like I said set it aside and um, Yeah Hopefully these other plastic parts will be okay We'll find out or I'll find out for you So I'm gonna go find a bucket fill it up with some acetone that you can get at Walmart um, For pretty cheap and that should get all that kind of that gunk and grimy residue off of it um, so anyway, and then part one, the disassembly, will be complete. Alright, so I have some acetone that you can get at Walmart, um, relatively cheap, and filled up this coffee can full of it, and I put both the lower housing and the upper housing fully submerged in it. And I like to soak it for at least a day and that just gets any of that uh, gas residue ethanol residue what basically just really gums up a carburetor that tends to, to eat it off pretty well I just like to seal it up <coughs> and let it sit for a day and before I rebuild the carburetor um, so that ends part one. Check out my next video, part two, and we'll be applying the carburetor rebuild kit and uh, rebuilding it. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching, and again, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. Um, helps me out. Thank you.